tidying myself up a little bit. So can you all see me? Can you hear me? We're all good. We're all live. Hello, hello, hello. So it's my first live on my vlog channel. I go vlog, vlog. I go live on Instagram for my crystal live. I do it on Facebook sometimes. I go TikTok and I do free readings and I do um, a crystal y stuff on there as well. But I haven't done a live on this channel before. So I thought it was about time. Oh, I'm getting a message through. What's this say? Let's have a look. Okay, awesome. Thank you very much. Um, so, yeah, uh, I'm here for a, a chat. I'll be here for a little while. If you've got any questions, fire them down into the chat and I will answer as many as I can. As you know, I've increased my vlogs from two to three a week. So I'm now doing Tuesdays, Thursdays and Sundays. Tuesdays is going to be a little late because I do things on Tuesday evening. So I have to upload it, load it afterwards. Thursday night's probably about eight o'clock ish. Uh, and Sunday is going to be eight o'clock as well. But Tuesday's probably a bit later. So you might want to catch up next morning for Tuesday. So we've got Douglas here, uh, Melissa, Nick, Cherwin, Magnus. Hello. Magnus is a good friend of mine. I taught Magnus singing for a while. He's an actor and a psychic. Um, and we've just kind of stayed friends, which is awesome. Uh, Adam, good evening. Uh, Kelly, Kevin, sorry. Daisy, Melissa, Jen, David. Right, there's loads of questions. Sarah Gilby. Good evening, Rye Bailey. Hello, thank you for joining on my first live. Now, if this goes well on this channel, I will do more lives as well. So we can just hang out and chill and talk about my vlog and whatever questions you want. So we're going to see what questions are already here. Let's have a little look. Hi, Babs. <laughs> now, there's another person in the comments, Georgina on his vocal coach with a black image background and me. It's not me. It's a fan um, account. Um, you've promised for years you'd do some Will Young reactions and you never. That's a very good point. It is on my list, but it's hard catching up with them all. I've got such a lot. How have you been? I've been all right, as you'll have seen from my vlog tonight. I've been okay, a bit up and down, but I do get that sad thing. I don't know if you do. Seasonal... Ah... Uh, uh, Season attention? No. Seasonal. Oh dear. It's to do with the winter, basically. There being no light and you having a lack of vitamin D. I do have one of the natural lights, but I just forget to take it out. So it, I don't know. I think that affects me sometimes. So love from the Netherlands. Hello. What crystal is good for intestinal health? I would probably say um, there's a few. Um, I'd begin with aventurine because aventurine is good for physical health and regeneration of cells, which is green. Uh, you can get blue aventurine as well, but I would go for the green option. I would maybe say as well uh, lapis lazuli because that's good for renewal. So I'd try those. John says, Queen G, my friend, is getting a car. So we can finally visit your shop. Oh, that's ace. Any Eurovision 2023 songs you're still listening to, says David H. Um, I listened to uh, Poe, Edward, Edward, I can't say it, Edgar Allan Poe, 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 the other day. That would just, yeah. Extra do it continuously now. So each day I will upload the footage from my camera. This is the camera I currently use. I'll update the footage from my camera, upload it, and then I'll edit that day's stuff. Then the following day I'll continue to vlog and then I will go through that and update it. And what I tend to do on the last day that it's going to go out uh, is I'll update it, upload it around tea time, see how much footage I've got, and then if I need any more, I'll try and do a bit extra in the evening before it then goes out. 
I really want my vlogs to be a good 20 minutes, but you can't always get that length depending on what's happening in those days, really. Hope you've had a good Sunday. I have. I've spent my time playing around with my new camera um, and just bits and bobs. We did the secondhand shops as well. Your nails are beautiful. Thank you. They are a little bit thicker than normal. The, the gel, the girl that did them, I think she's new. She's a trainee. So one of the experienced people did the nail itself and then she painted them, but kind of a little bit bubbly and a bit thick. So maybe they're a bit uh, thinner next time round. How long? How? Oh, hang on. Let me read that again. Long time no see. How's the shop? The shop's going well. Um, it's not fantastic uh, financially, but it's doing OK. Yesterday surprised us because it's normally quiet on Saturday afternoon. And then as I started to get ready to do readings, everybody started coming in. <laughs> and it's like, all right, then I was trying to lock up and people were coming in. I'm like, oh, I'll just leave the door open. Come in, whatever. I'll just carry on tidying up and cashing up and doing all that um so yeah uh have you decided on the camera yet no no it's here uh i've only really been playing with it today and i'm going to be using it over the next week or so Ooh, ob uh next week or so playing around with it i've got to get an sd card for it i've got one but it's not a new one it's a sort of used one that i've been using a while so i want a faster new one Oh, you might hear snoring in the background. <laughs> uh, right, let's catch up with these. He has to get up really early tomorrow. Uh, I think he's got to be at his workmate's house for four. So, yeah, he's got to be up fairly early. Thoughts on Ariana new song? I do have thoughts, yes, but I'm not going to say because I'm doing a reaction video that I've already started on, which will probably be going out on Tuesday, providing I can get through copyright with it. Um, but it's a mixed bag for me at the minute, so I'll leave it there. Uh, the lyrics, not feeling it. Um, love the nail colour, thank you. I'm sorry for confusion, it's all right. Love the new sweater, Primark. I quite like it. Alex was going to get one, and I was like, oh, I think I might have one myself. <laughs> so I did. Seasonal affected disorder, there we go. Thank you. Uh, when are you going to open a post box for us to send stuff to you to blind react to? <gasps> oh, snacks, that's a really good idea. My shop address, you can send stuff there if you want. It's on my website, which is Spirit Psychic Crystal Healing dot com spirit psychic crystal healing dot com if you go to the contents page the address is on there uh, and feel free to send stuff snacks from other countries now that's a good idea i wouldn't mind trying stuff like that don't do nuts though so don't send me anything with nuts in uh i get that too always struggle in january yes me too hello jesus ethan hello watching your vlog in bed been watching Fool Me Once, Fool Me Once. That's a new series on Netflix, isn't it? Is it Netflix? Uh, and it's the girl that used to be in Coronation Street that I can't remember the name of, but she's very pretty. I just remember that. Hello from Egypt. Hello. Uh, is your shop getting more secondhand inventory? I've not actually added any more, like, shelves and stuff it's just the corner um because i don't want it to take over the entire shop i don't want it, people to feel like it's a junk shop i want it antiques um but it's really drawn people in it's kind of given me a new kind of um i was gonna say audience that's the wrong word a new kind of customer because uh, people will look at the antiques in the corner and then we'll go ooh. And now they've got crystals. So they kind of, it's, it's, it's working well. And we've got a guitar in at the moment, which is not a Gibson, but it's got a Gibson sticker on it. So people kind of drawn in and they, they want to, it's like a talking point. So it works pretty well. Uh, looking to visit the UK, can I get by without a car? Maybe an occasional taxi. I would say no, no. 
Uh, UK is massive place. It's not just, you know, a small area. Uh, even in London, you would kind of need to be at Monday. You'd get around on a tube. If you were going to like London, then you could just do tubes. Manchester is the same. There is trams, so you can get around quite easily. The big cities, you could get around quite easily. But if you wanted to go like the Lake District or some of the sort of national parks, you'd probably need a car. One of my singing students has been invited to sing at a gig with his favourite band. Woo, that's awesome. Well done there, Magnus. Learned from the best. <laughs> are there any crystals that are good for muscle pain? We had this debate yesterday, me and Liz. I have it here because I'm getting a lot of just, I'm not sure why. I just hurt. A dragon bloodstone. It's uh, green, red, and black. Uh, and it does look like there's blood running through it. You probably can't tell on this. Um, but dragon bloodstone, I've been carrying around, carrying it around with me for the last couple of days. I've also got a bit of lapis here as well, because um, that's supposed to be good for my digestion and stuff. So, yeah, I've been carrying that around. Uh, have you seen any clips from the Melanie's 50th birthday gig? No, I haven't. So I'll have a look at that. Who do you think will win Eurovision this year in your prediction? I have no idea. I couldn't possibly stare, say, you're cutting out. Oh, no, maybe a little internet issue. Would you do Celebrity Big Brother? Probably not, unless they pay me a lot of money. Then we might. <laughs> we don't mind shorter vlogs. Oh, okay. Blue nails, nice. I have been such a fan since last year's Eurovision. They were the Australian. The lead singer is fighting cancer, right? I know. I heard about that. It's a stunning song, the Australian song. I remember mentioning, uh, commenting underneath it, and the editor messaged back and said, thank you so much for your comments and the editing. I'd love to see more of Tilly. Okay, yeah. A bit like to the live. Don't worry, it's all good. Uh, hi, all. How are you doing? I'm all right. Are you still thinking of moving shop? Yes, I am. But currently, there's nowhere to go to because the shops that are available are stupid prices and they're still not directly where I kind of want them to be. There is a possibility in the market in Pontefract, but it's smaller. I couldn't do readings in there, so that's not ideal. Um, and I couldn't have Alfie, so Alfie would have to stay at home and Liz would have to check on Alfie for me. But I would be much closer I'd be literally round the corner for Alfie anyway. So I don't know at the moment, but we're staying where we are for now, probably until the end of March. You're glitching. Oh, no. How do you know Alex? Alex being my child, Alex. Is that what we're talking about? Who is your favourite artist of all time? I don't really have one. Hello from the United States. Alex is her daughter. Thank you. Yes, I always, your perfect manicure. Thank you very much. It's because I go live a lot and my hands are in there. So I like to keep my nails neat uh, as much as I can. Uh, I've just finished, says Alan. Alan, hello. Alan is lovely. Alan writes poems and songs. Um, I taught Alan for a while, helped him get through a singing exam. Uh, and he's really skilled at his poems and music. And I hope that me and Simon, you know, did some good uh, in getting him to the point where he is now. Because, yeah, he had so much just ability, but wasn't showing them to anyone. So I'm hoping me and Simon gave him the nudge to do more. And I know he's been in, he's been featured in books since then. So, so good for you, Alan. Get yourself a cuppa. Thank you, Adam. Oh, that's really kind. I don't earn anything really from doing my vlog. Um, I do from my Honest Vocal Coach React, but I have to work hard against copyright. Um, so that's very kind of you. Thank you. Have you sold any of the clothes in the shop? I have. I have. A lot of the new clothes have gone. Um, they came in on, was it Tuesday? Wednesday. I put them out on Wednesday night. And it's gone really fast. So I think I might have to do another clothing order tomorrow 
and get some more. I'd say you can definitely get around without a car. I don't drive. All right, so we're talking about that. Oh, it's just jumped. Um, a shout out to the Lake District where I'm from. I meant to say I've just finished a new poem for the choir. Awesome. Do you like Indian food? I'm not that fussed. If I have a curry, it's more likely to be a Chinese style curry. You make me sweat. Okay. All right, then we'll leave that there. Despite some minor glitching early, the sound is pretty good. Awesome, because I've got my very snazzy microphone here. I use this one, the Fifine, or Fifine. I've used it for ages. It's really good. I have an awesome uh, recording one for vocals over there, uh, but this one I use for my... Um, oh, God, my reacts and whenever I'm doing lives and things. Uh, have you listened to Shazna Lewis's new track? No, I haven't. Uh, a crystal for courage. I would say rose quartz and clear quartz. Rose quartz is love, understanding. It's also finding self-love. Uh, and clear quartz is good for removing um, negative energy and giving you energy and motivation. So that might be a good one. More lives on here would be great. Right then. You and Simon definitely gave me the confidence, something I'll never forget. Oh, Alan, you're lovely. Thank you, Alan. Mike H. Thank you very much. Let's celebrate their first super on a live stream. That's awesome. Thank you so much. I'm not sure how I... There we go. I've, I've loved it. I've marked it as love. Thank you very much, Mike. I appreciate that. It took me two months to figure out tea is what you call a meal. Oh, right then. Hang on. We have a debate about this regularly. Alex and me and Simon, we all have different outlooks on it. Uh, what's tea and what's dinner? And I think it's purely because of the schools that we were at. My school, it was breakfast. You could have brunch, which was my mum's thing which was sort of 11-ish, not quite lunch, like a late breakfast brunch. Um, and I call dinner tea time. So dinner for me is probably about four or five o'clock. It's your sort of main meal. Um, but for them, it's different. It's They don't say tea time, they say dinner. But often, I think with Alex, Alex is dinner for lunchtime. And I'm like, what? I'm confused. So, yeah, for me, that's just kind of how it was when I was at school, that you had breakfast, brunch. Uh, then you would have lunch, uh, brunch, that was my mum's thing, uh, and then proper tea time, which is dinner, tea, tea time. And then you might have a supper, which might be a bit of toast or whatever, before you go to bed. So there we are. <laughs> uh, where are we? Marrakesh, good evening. Uh, for your Chinese night, you've got to try vegetarian. Singapore noodles are a bit healthier than noodles and just so tasty. Okay, will do. I'm kind of getting bored of the Chinese food, which is very unlike me. I could eat Chinese every single day. But I think I need to mix it up. So today we said, although today's was really tasty, last week's was boring. Uh, next week, we're not doing Chinese. We're going to do something else. I think I'm going to make some kind of roast dinner instead uh, just to mix it up a bit because I think it's probably a bit too salty for me anyway. So we're going to do it a little bit less. I'm so sorry. I've been watching you for years and didn't know you was Alex's mom. Oh, yes. Yes, I am. Not much as I'm on maternity leave, but I love your vlogs. Oh, bless you. I'm not asking for money. I'm not that person. I'm not one of those that go on TikTok and is like, give me the gift, send me your roses and stuff. That's really not me. I do appreciate it, though. Thank you so much. But I don't expect anybody to give me anything. I do my vlogs because I want to have something to look back on. Uh, and I've been through so much. If I can help people stay motivated and just feel like they're not alone then I absolutely will do and I love my gadgets 
I love my gadget, so it's an excuse to use my cameras and things. Uh, and it makes me do stuff. That's another good thing about my vlogs. It makes me do things. Instead of just sitting on my butt and watching life pass by, I do things and I think, right, I'm vlogging today. What can I do that is, you know, just going to be interesting? Right, let's go back. Uh, would you please ever do a video about your calorie counting? Yes, absolutely. I'm slightly off it at the minute. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm being healthy for most of the week. But then on Friday, I sometimes slip into pizza and Sunday, I slip into Chinese. It's not good. So uh, I need to get my willpower back again. Uh, it's just, yeah, I think the sad's kind of something a, a friend of mine said. No, he said, Fight, choose your battles. And sometimes you got to prioritize certain things, whether mental health or whatever it might be, because you can't tackle all of it. So I've fallen off it a little bit. Uh, and I have lost weight, but it crept on a little bit more. So we've got to keep going with it. It's all about health eating for me and not necessarily how big or small I am. Uh, and the visceral fat is a big deal. Uh, I've been warned about that uh, after a previous heart, previous heart operation. They said, you got to watch that because that's, you know, one of the bad things for you. So I'm trying to watch that, but not doing particularly well. So. Would you ever offer massage or reflexology in your shop? Yes, I would. I have an upstairs. And if it continues to increase the profit each month, we're still only like a little bit. Each month it gets a little bit more. Um, I want to sort out upstairs so that there's a room where you can do psychic readings up there. Um, so people can look around the shop, come up for a reading, go down again. And also have like a, a chill out sound space or a space where we could do sound healing or Reiki or whatever. But I'm not quite there yet. I got a necklace with a Venturine in it and some blue and pink stuff around it. Okay. Breakfast, dinner, tea, supper. As you mentioned earlier, how do you pronounce the full name? Oh, Lapis Lazuli. Ask Liz though, she's very funny. Lapis Lazuli. Lapis Lazuli. I thought it was spelt just one way until I saw you. Oh, yeah. Um, breakfast, lunch, dinner or tea. Uh, I'm from Hull but live in Leeds now and most Yorkshire folks say what I say. Breakfast, dinner and tea. Do you have a favourite Carpenter song? Uh, Rainy Days and Mondays, definitely. People are so kind. They are. Oh, it's jumped. Sometimes it does that. Let me go back to where we were. Roast dinner rocks my socks. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, just to warn you, uh, YouTube are now putting adverts in the middle of lives. So if any adverts do pop up, I apologise. It's learning how to switch them off and change them. But it does kind of add a little bit of um, monetary value for me to be able to buy cameras and you know, stuff like that. So stick with me if an advert pops up. Your vlogs and crystal lives massively helped me through my pregnancy when I was feeling really rough and they've helped me through the newborn days. You're very welcome, Melissa. Uh, good evening. I hope you're doing amazing. I'm all right. Could you give a shout out to uh, Louis Vision? Louis Vision? I think I pronounced it right. Sunkiss Community. Where in the last edition you were the host of the show. We adore you. Ah, oh, hello. You've lifted my spirits many times from your vlogs. When are you taking your next holiday? Oh, right. This is a good question. I do need to travel more. It was on my list. Me and Elliot started to travel more. We did all sorts. We went to the Isle of Man. We did lots of day trips. We did shows and things. And then you know what happened. And that kind of slowed everything down. Since then, I've done Skipton for a weekend. I've been to London for a show with Alex. I've done quite a few Manchester trips. Um, but I do have some ideas for this year. Uh, and it kind of incorporates the whole crystal thing. I'd really like to do a trip to Glastonbury to just visit the whole area. I've never been to Stonehenge uh, and do all the crystal shops. 
I'd like to go to Buxton because I hear that that's quite a spiritual place. Um, and I have some other abroad ideas as well. But, you know, it's it's just fitting them in. We've got a dog and stuff like that. So, yeah. I appreciate all the work you do. Thank you very much. Uh, oh. Appreciate all the work. A bit of picture and Chinese food is fine. Thank you. What is the best resource online or books to learn about crystals? I would go with the Crystal Bible. Uh, that's one of the best ones because it has everything in there. Um, I do have a beginner's book um, of crystals as well, which is pretty good. But the Crystal Bible is the best one. It's like tells you everything you need to know, not just about the crystals, about charging them and all that kind of stuff. Can you write to Ireland six songs for your? Ooh, I we can definitely have a look. Why do people pay and then not turn up for readings? Do they get their money back? Well, what I've been doing at the shop because the shop's new is I'm not charging people up front at the shop. Uh, but because of this reason of them not turning up, I'm now taking a deposit. So they have to pay a five pound deposit for the reading. And if they don't turn up, they lose it. So that's what I'm doing now on my singing coaching, because I've been doing it forever. They have to pay if it's their first lesson, they've got to pay first. And then once I get to know them and we've built a rapport, then it's like you pay as the lesson pays you go. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be doing the deposit a lot more now. We'll be called cool to hit 100. Yeah, we've got 87 people watching. That's very cool. Thank you very much. Are readings harder over Zoom? No, not really. Uh, I still feel the energy. Um, yeah, I don't know what it is, but I feel it from you. So no, it's not harder over Zoom for me. Um, I always pronounced it lapis lazuli. Oh, lazuli, lazuli. Uh, Rose dinner rocks my socks too. <laughs> Your new shirt looks nice. Thanks. Bit of Primark. Why not? York is nice for a weekend. Yes. Now, this is a funny one. Uh, Liz, Liz had a psychic reading last year at an event we all went we went to I had a um my brain's gone I had a stall there and she went off to have a reading with someone else and this someone else said that York was important and she was going to get a new career as it turns out um she has got a new career because she now works in my shop with me and um York is where the crystal wholesaler is that we now go to. Uh, and I think York would be an incredibly good place for a crystal shop. It's just a little bit far from where we live right now. Uh, I'm from Glastonbury. You'd love it. Awesome. Come to Kent. I have been to Kent. I went to Ashton in Kent. Ashton? Ashford in Kent. But we didn't really see much of the place. I was there for a... What was I there for? Had a girl band and we stayed at a hotel there. Uh, I could watch Crystal Lives all day. Really? Well, my next Crystal Lives Wednesday night on Instagram. It'll be about half past seven. I'm doing them Wednesdays for the moment because I've started going to a psychic reading night on Tuesdays, which is awesome. Uh, I'm just an audience member at the minute. I'm not, you know, jumping in. I just want to learn more about group readings because it's a step forward for me. I want to try and do that. Just after you warned us on the ads, one hit me. Oh, no. Uh, Chal Chalice Wells, so many crystal shops. Ooh, okay. <laughs> right, it's jumped up again, so let's continue. Do you still offer a reaction service? And if so, does it need to be a live performance? Uh... If it's a reaction of you, then I do prefer it to be a video because I like to see the facial structure, what's going on physically. Um, and with reacting to like stars, so to speak, I can kind of do both. Both is not a problem. 
Uh, got to go now. Good night. See you later, love. Evening, says Mr. Wilson. I know you offer readings in the shop online and on the phone, but as a housebound person with anxiety, uh, I wondered what a reading entails. Oh, right. Okay. Um, I have a lady, actually, I'm going to visit next week. She phoned the shop and said, do you do readings at houses? So I'm going to go to a house uh, to do it. Luckily, she lives near to the shop, so it's not a big travel. But eventually, it might be a thing that I do. Wouldn't that be good to vlog? Oh, my God. We could actually film some of the readings if they were interested in that. Um, yeah, you know, like Tyler Henry does. Uh, my story is very similar to his. If you've not heard of Tyler Henry, um, his, his documentary uh, and series on Netflix are just brilliant. Just watch them. Uh, but, yeah, that would be kind of cool. Um, so, yeah, what I do in a reading is initially I will totally connect with you. I will lift my consciousness level. There's other things that I will do before the reading. And I will tell you everything that comes in. I'm pretty quick as well. Once I'm channeled, it's literally blah, 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 and I fire it all out. I'm very much like a shop window. And I explain this in every psychic reading that I do. It's like a shop window for me. It's like a bay window. On one side, we've got your past. Look at my arms. And the other side, you've got the future. So I can kind of see the spirits from your past on this side and then anything that might be coming up in your future. And it depends on the uh, person I'm sitting with of which side. But in the shop, it always seems that the past is on this side. The future is on that side. Um, also... What I find is the nearer a spirit is to you, the nearer it is in time that they've passed. The further away they are, it means that they passed a longer time ago um, and they might be like a, a further away uh, relative, like a grandma or a granddad or great granddad. The further away they are, the longer time distance to say that there is no time when we pass. There is no time. It's a human invention. I still get these sort of stages of where things are placed. Um, I use clairsentience, which is I feel what you feel. So I can probably tell you if you've got a tattoo. I can tell you if you've broken your arm as a kid, stuff like that. Whatever comes through that day, I can tell you those things as well. And I also use clairaudience, which is hearing uh, um, voices. So I'll hear words, uh, names sometimes, dates sometimes. And occasionally I can see images, but it's very much about feeling them. It's a funny thing kind of a visual from a feeling rather than a physical visual, if that makes sense. I then do a spirit message card, which is guiding straight from spirit that they want to tell you that means something now. And then I finish off with tarot, which is past, present, future, to give you an idea of where you're going uh, and how to sort of get to that point. And any issues, you know, any stuff in the past that might need to be left in the past or might be continuously moving forward. I can record the whole thing. Um, I record it on my phone when I'm in the shop and send it to them after. Or if it's on Zoom, I can press record and Zoom it that way. So there you are. Oh, my chair's creaking. Any plans to do vocal coach reacts to Sugar Babe's New Year's Eve performances? Yes, I'd like to. Uh, Jingle Bell Ball's impossible, unfortunately. The copyright is stupid tough. Uh, and I wouldn't really be able to play much of it without having to start, like, chop it down to a tiny little few second clip. So that's probably going to be out on that one. I always want to do it, but talk myself out of it, making a bigger deal than it probably is. I'm not very spiritual, but had a few weird things go on with me. If I had a reading, would you be able to tell if I had someone follow me? Absolutely. Yes. Have you always had that psychic ability? Yes. Uh, when I was 16, something happened to me. Uh, and that kicked it all off. Uh, I have what I call knowings. I just know stuff. Uh, and it's at the time it happens. I don't know it in advance. It's at the time it happens. As I've got older, I've found that some of it is in advance. But we're not talking by very long. Um, but there is a video of me explaining it all um, on my spirit YouTube. 
um, I can always put that link somewhere or if you particularly want it, message me somewhere in the comments or whatever and I'll send you a link to that video. But if you go to spiritpsychiccrystalhealing.com on the About Me page, the link is there so you can hear sort of the story of how I first discovered I had this thing. Um, it kind of talks about why I left left telling people about it for a long period of time as well you know being the honest vocal coach for a long period of time you get a lot of oh, she thinks she's a psychic oh she's a vocal coach oh she's an asmr as well is she trying everything i don't want to you know it's frustrating i think i have lots of strings to my bow and you know that's an entrepreneurial thing uh on my part i've always believed if you want to achieve something you should know everything about it to get to that final point so like with the vlogs i do everything although alex has just taken over with the thumbnails and the intro and outro which is giving me some extra time and it's nice to have different input uh, but with my vlogs my reacts everything i learned the camera i learned the recording when i had my studio i learned everything um from advertising promotion marketing to designing posters to just everything so i just think it's important that if you want to achieve you got to know how to do it even if you don't end up doing that thing all of it you know how it works so you can appreciate it have you always had that oh, i've just read that <laughs> any plans for this year and what you'd like to improve on i'd like to make more vlogs i'd like to do a bit more traveling that would be really good uh and really the underlying thing is just health i gotta keep my health on track as much as i can when you have a low mood or feel a bit down do you turn to crystals for help i do and i also turn to music music is a big big thing for me why do you currently rent oh some honest questions but let's go for it let's do it the reason i rent is because the house that i you i'm divorced right i never thought i would get divorced ever ever when you get married i'm very traditional i never thought that it would be a thing that i was going to divorce anyway you know we have the family home the kids grew up in it well nearly all of that we had two family homes if you like one when they were little and then we moved again um but they were sort of five and seven when we first moved into this house and we were there 10 years and it became the family house and then when a marriage breaks down you're like now what do I do you kind of don't want to buy something else I didn't want to buy something else at that point I was like I don't know what I'm doing now I really don't um, and another thing, and being self-employed, getting a mortgage is a whole nother level. Uh, you have to prove all sorts of things. Um, so I moved to a flat and took Ellie and Alex and they lived with me then. Alex then moved in with her, their dad, not her, apologies, their dad. And... That was because Bill, my ex-husband, was on his own and Alex wanted to be closer to the college that they were studying at. So they went there. Um, and then because we got Alfie, sorry, not Alfie, because we'd got some cats uh, and Alex had moved out at that point, uh, me, Simon and Ellie moved to another house uh, which was better than the flat where it was. It wasn't the best area in the world. It wasn't great, but it was a, it was a fast move. The house sale was going through anyway. Uh, and then since then, I've just not had the heart to do the whole mortgage thing. I just don't know whether it's worth it anymore. Do you know what I mean? So we're renting at the moment. Uh, I like where we live. It works well for us. We've got plenty of space. Uh, and when we took it on, the rent was quite low compared to what it should have been because the outside was a mess. The garden was a mess. The front of the house was a mess. The drive was a mess. 
So I took it on myself to just sort it all out. So I've done the garden. You've seen that. I did the drive, pulled all the drive up, did the front garden, added the pond back in because it was just a hole. Uh, so now it's, you know, probably worth more than we're paying for it. Sneaky, but there we are. And I like it here. It's nice. And I'm close to Ellie. So that's good. Your crystal shop would fit in York down the shambles. I agree. I bet it is stupid expensive though there. Hello from Australia. It's jumped, so I'll just go back. Ah. How close are you to get 11K? Ooh, when I last looked, it was 10,940. So I think I'm about 60 away. And it has started to increase again since, since, uh, since kitchen, since Christmas. Hiccup, excuse me. So it shouldn't be too long. We have lots of crystals in the North Carolina mountains. Ooh, would you want to come to New Zealand? Oh, yeah, that'd be lovely. Do pets send spirits around? Yes, they do. Cats more than dogs, but yes, they do. Brighton has some lovely crystal shops. Yeah, I've always quite fancied Brighton, never been. Um, Ellie loved Cornwall, actually. She went to Cornwall on a holiday with an ex-boyfriend, and she loved it there. Simon tells me Cornwall's wonderful as well, so that might be a trip. I've been to Hebden Bridge. I have. It does have witchy vibes. Also, Nesbra. Nesbra has uh, Mother Shipton's Cave, which is kind of witchy. Do you find names come up more commonly in readings or clues to names? It tends to be um, the initials and occasionally names. Do you have a favourite crystal? Yes, Amethyst. Big fan. Love purple. Uh if you know me, you'll understand why purple is a big deal. Would you know if a spirit is evil or not? Absolutely, and no spirits are evil. Now, how it works is when we pass, our soul moves from our body into a new vibration, and that is all around us. It's not like a heaven place we go to. It's literally all around us. And the evil that we find is on earth. Things that happen on earth is the evil. Uh, there is no hell. I don't believe one exists. Uh, and also when it comes to the evil side of things, it's evil things that have happened that leave a, res a residual energy. So, for example, when you talk about poltergeists or, you know, ghosts that move things, this is residual energy that's happened because of a bad trauma or something evil that's happened on the earth. The spirit's no longer there. They've moved on. But there's this residual negative energy around whatever it is that occurred. So essentially, there are no evil spirits. It's that residual energy that's been left caused by whatever it was that happened. Hope that makes sense. Rumours Danny Minogue is doing Eurovision. Really? If you want. <laughs> uh, any reaction for singers doing soul? Yes, I've got a long list. Thank you. I'll have a look for the video. You're welcome. I'd love a reading, but I'm really anxious about bad news. Oh, right. Okay, right. We're going into it today, aren't we? <laughs> I'll probably have to change the title of this to some of the things we've talked about. Um, I don't tell you bad news. I think it's really important as a... Um, weird to call myself a medium but that's what I am now I think it's important that I don't give you really bad news because it's your life's journey and if you know something is coming it's going to change your journey completely so it's better not to there are times like this weekend when I did some readings I knew something about someone that I did a reading for but I didn't tell them that I didn't tell them that that was something that was going to happen to them uh, and that was their new journey that they would find. I just think I have a responsibility to stay positive and help people understand that's their life's journey. I hope that makes sense. A few times that I've been able to tune into something, it's almost been like a text message. All right, okay, yeah. 
You're allowed to have more than one interest. You're a gifted person. Thank you, Jen. Do your spiritual gifts extend into the world of paranormal or are they different things completely? Yes, I guess they do. I used to do a lot of um, paranormal investigations, but I didn't like the way that it was being played out or advertised. A bit like you're most haunted. Oh, I'm so scared. And oh, do you hear that? And all that negativity of being scared and terrified and all of that. That's really not how it is. It's not. It's more of a calming and a soothing experience. You will occasionally get things that happen from the, the negative residual energy. But nine times out of ten, it's a positive experience. And we're just learning about these spirits that have passed and their journeys. Um, so, yeah, I'm right getting into it today. Uh, do you believe in God? <sighs> this is a fun one. A fun one? That was the wrong way of putting it. Kind of. I believe all the gods exist. Um, but there is like a divine source. Uh, I'll have to go that in more detail or I could be here all night because I've realised it's 20 to 10. Uh, people can have many interests. What's the issue with that? I, uh, crystals for anxiety and self-confidence. Self-confidence would be carnelian fire quartz, orange crystals. And for anxiety, crazy lace is my ultimate for that. Crazy lace is awesome. Are you taking on new students? I am. I teach Mondays and Thursdays at the moment, and I've got a couple of slots on Thursdays. Um, so, yes, I am, because I've got students who have been with me so long, they do like every other week, so it means I've got a few more slots. What's that? Hope you've had a lovely weekend. Uh, you're so open and honest. Thank you. You've hit 100. Oh, I have. I've got 100 people watching. Hello, everybody. <laughs> what are some typical signs that you have in spirit attached around you? Signs. Uh, auras. Auras. I can see people's auras. Also, orbs. You will see some because I'm convinced that because I do what I do, I tend to just have spirits around me. So you see like little balls of light moving around. Uh, it can be dust. Let me just point this out. If you have a very bright light and it's a strong bulb, you'll see a bit of dust coming from it like I do. But I have a lot of orbs that move around me in this room, which is pretty cool. Um, uh, bless you for staying strong. You're very well. I don't know why I'm saying welcome. I'm just, you have to. Do you ever worry about your safety putting your life online? Yes, I do. Uh, Simon is very big on this. Uh, he really wants me to try and keep certain things um, to a minimum, how much I put out there of where I live and stuff like that. Oh, Arb, see? Um, so, yeah, I am quite, yeah, I do have a line that I think it's important that I try and, yeah. Uh, how do pets appear in the spirit world? Um, as as the pet that they are, because when I read, I often get an animal come through. Like yesterday's readings, there was a dog, a particular dog that came through for a gentleman that I was reading. And he remembered that dog and it was the dog that meant the most to him as a child. And he never understood why one day it disappeared. I think the family may have had it rehomed, which is such a sad thing. But yeah, that dog came through to say, you know, still around. Pateley Bridge is a spiritual town. I suspect if you do more lives on YouTube, you'll hit 11 and then even more. I hope so. Fingers crossed. You don't make money on your vlog. No, I make very little from my vlog. Um, it's all about adverts and how it works. So the advert that is at the beginning of the video or sometimes they blip in the middle or at the end. Um, when people watch a bit, uh, that's how I get pennies, really. That's literally how it is. And because my vlog's not enormous like my reacts channel i don't earn much from it i just love doing it it's time consuming but it's good for me oh my chair is creaking did your spirit energy heighten after losing ellie i've heard it gets stronger after losing a loved one yes it did 
uh, my mediumship skills uh, were very limited before then. And I think it's that desperation to want to connect with someone who passed. And it just got bigger and expanded. And I did more development. I did more courses. I worked with more psychics to really try and get out as much as I could. I love that you feel that way about giving bad news. Oh, it's jumped. It does that sometimes. Novimpia sent you up brilliantly. I loved that they cherished you and also made it fun. They did. Oh, hello. <laughs> yes, they absolutely did. Uh, I liked the um, Jurassic Park thing. Uh, and someone's been pinching me flower pots. I just thought it was great. It's really good. I did know they were doing it. I got notified, well, I got asked about six months before. So it was something that was planned. They took a lot of time preparing it, which is just fabulous. Have you ever had a bad reading as the person is closed off? Yes. There's a vlog about it. If you put in bad reading, psychic reading on my vlog, it'll come up and I'll, I'll talk. <laughs> I don't know what that is, so I'll have a look. It looks like it might be a reading booking. Let's have a look. Let's have a look while we're live. Oh, it is. Someone's booked a reading. Thanks very much. Um, yeah, if you want to book a reading, it's uh, spiritpsychiccrystalhealing.com. Um, I do tarot and also full readings. Anyway, um, thank you. Hello from Cyprus. Yeah, the bad reading. I'm really confused. Where's all your honest vocal coach stuff disappeared to? Where's the competitions and stuff? It's so odd. Is there an identity crisis? No, there isn't an identity crisis. Um, the Honest Vocal Coach stuff is still there. Uh, my Honest Vocal Coach React channel is still going. It's not as booming as it used to be. And I will hold my hands up. I haven't done as many videos as I used to. But, you know, I've gone through a horrible loss and... It's just not as busy as it was before, but I'm still there and I still teach and I still do reactions, just not maybe as much. And when it comes to identity crisis, there has been on TikTok <laughs> that got very complicated. <laughs> um, and yeah, the competitions I had to pause because of stuff that was going on in my own life. And it's such a lot of work. It really is. I love doing them, but it's a, it's a lot of work. Um, so, yeah, there has been an identity crisis on TikTok, but I think because I did vocal coaching for well, 21 years this year, that's a long time to do something. And the honest vocal coach for five years, I just needed a different outlet. And the fact that my mediumship skills had started to expand, I wanted to do something with it. So that's happening still. The, you know, I'm doing both things. I'm still that honest vocal coach. Uh, right, let's move down. Quite often I'm thinking about something and I'm going to say it when somebody says it, what I'm thinking is that... A... <laughs> it's all going crazy. Is that a psychic thing? Um, It's almost like an empath an empath that someone's ordered a crazy lace palm stone. Thank you, Tom. Uh, I'll get that sent out to you. <laughs> I don't think they're watching this. I just, you know, to ching. Um, Arb again. Um, what was I saying? Brain's just just gone into meltdown for a second. Um, oh, yeah. It's an empath thing. You're going to soak in somebody else's uh, energy uh, and then you, you know, have some of those... Uh, it's like uh, telepathy is a similar thing. I wouldn't say it's particularly psychic, but it's definitely an empath thing. A uh, weird question, but can spirits see you during inappropriate times in the shower? I have this discussion with quite a few psychics. No, spirits know when to be there and not when to be there. Um, when you think about them, they'll be there. Um, but yeah, they're not watching you while you're having sexy time let's say that <laughs> good job really <laughs> uh so glad to have caught your life thank you for the wonderful videos you've got me through a lot in the last few years flu flu years flu years you're very welcome how do you deal with hate 
a lot better than I used to um, because I'm experienced in this now. And people will always want to twist things. Uh, and some just love a bit of drama, don't they? They love a bit of gossip and a bit of drama. And they're quite happy to, to you know, chew somebody up without really knowing who you are. It's a little bit like a TV show. Look at it this way, right? I've worked on TV shows before. Um, I did an MTV show and some BBC stuff quite a few years ago now. But it's all edited to show the audience what you want them to see. And it's the same as me watching things on the TV. I will pick up certain things, whereas someone else will pick up something else. But editors and producers show people what they want you to see. So people don't always know the full me. There are things I'm not going to tell everybody about. Or, you know, I'm very open. But there are certain things that are just private. People don't need to know that. That's, you know important for me uh, I want to come out to my mum as I'm gay but I but it's just hard and I wanted to ask you I'm not reading this clearly clearly but just wanted to ask what you felt when you found out about it and just wanted to say you're amazing keep on doing what you're doing found out about it in terms of Alex uh, my youngest um I I'm from a performing arts background. I I have many friends uh, of different genders, a different personalities, different you know all people from all walks of life. So that's part of who I am. And love is love. That's literally all it is for me. So for example, if Bob wants to be with a Bob or a Bob wants to be with Flo or whatever. As long as they're not hurting one another, love is love. I'm great with that. It's the same with the trans thing as well. Uh, if you are a trans person and want me to call you fe fe a she, call, that's great, whatever. If that makes you happy, then that's wonderful. Uh, and then I will support you uh, in in whatever I, however I can, really. Uh, will there be any competence to win things in your shop? Now, that's a good idea. No, I haven't done that yet. What if you had someone pass in your life that you didn't have a great relationship? Do they remain in our lives beyond this realm? Yes. Yes. Uh, yeah. Because most things, once you pass, you're literally shown your life to learn from it. Um, and pretty much all is forgiven at that point. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I didn't get on great with my mum. Sorry, mum, we didn't. Uh, we clashed a hell of a lot. Um, but she was still my mum and I loved her. And I still, you know, love everything, you know. Anyway, um, so yes is the answer. I could have made that simpler, couldn't I? Uh, the first super on the live stream. Thank you very much, JCR. Again, you don't have to give me any pennies, I, but I do appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, you wanted the palm stone. Hello, Tom. Thank you. I will get that sorted for you in the morning. Um, I'm at the shop tomorrow. Uh, I'll get it wrapped and posted out uh, and it'll be with you as soon as. Uh, I've got a few crazy lace left, so I'll pick the best one. My hubby had a reading after his mother passed. She came through and reassured him that she never goes beyond the bedroom door. <laughs> will you save the life? Yes, I will. It's going to be left on my vlog so people can go back to it and watch it. And I'll probably bob and flow. I, that was the most rubbish way of explaining it, wasn't it? But you know what I mean. Love is love. Um, so, yes, I will leave it on the live. And I'll maybe pick out some of the things we've talked about uh, and make it the, the title. Will you be reducing the amount you post on TikTok? I don't know. What I've done with TikTok is I've gone back to being the honest vocal coach is the main thing. Because like, that's, let me be honest, that's what gets me the numbers. That was what gets me the views. So what I then do, instead of posting the uh, order videos or the crystal videos, I'm literally just going to go live to do those things. So my lives, 
there it goes. My lives will be uh, to show people around the shop if they want to look at crystals, buy anything, to do readings and things like that. Um, but my my sort of what's going out will be reaction clips. Instagram is completely spiritual now. So uh, it's now called Spirit Crystal Spirit. <laughs> crystal healing so i post about new orders and crystals and stuff on there although i still have personal photographs um oh there's chairs on one what does aventurine do aventurine it's a green stone it's good for physical healing and regeneration of cells hi browsing and fell in here oh hello cheeky sprite are you loving your new camera gadget you bought? Not yet. Not yet. It's here. It's tiny. Let me show you how small this thing is. I'll just take it out. This is it. Literally, that's it. You turn on the screen and it turns it on. Ha <laughs> ha! And it's so small. Oh, bing bong. So from this to this. It's quite a jump holding this little thing instead of this. So I'm learning and I'm going to have a, a bit of a play around with it. Hello, camera. And watch it turns off when you switch it around. It's very cool. Coming in this little bag. You've got a uh, clip on microphone. It's very snazzy. Um, so I'm just playing around with it, learning how to use it, stuff like that. Let me put this back in there. It has this little case. That it clips into it's great so yeah i'm gonna get to grips with it over the coming weeks and then probably vlog with it but uh i'm still learning so many settings you scroll up for one thing scroll down for something else you swipe another way for something else another one it's like, oh my god a lot to learn uh is it better quality despite the smaller size it's got the same sensor as this camera, but the pixels, I think it's the pixels, the bit is higher. That's 10 bit where this is 8 bit. Uh, and this has 4K, this has 4K, but the colors on the new one are gonna be better than the old one. Plus it has the gimbal, so it's always gonna be smooth. Instead of me like, cause this has active stabilization in it, but it's still, it's a digital stabilization. So it's, sometimes it can be a bit, whereas on that, it's a manual stabilization because of the, that you can tell I've learned about it. The gimbal, it's much smoother for moving around. Uh, I think you look amazing with dark brown hair. Have you ever had that? I haven't actually. I've had many colors, red, light blonde i realized that light blonde that i used to have was just too for my face to my skin tone but anyway you another one you've kind of got to do these things to realize and then i wanted to stop dyeing my hair to give it some like health back so you can see a little bit of the dyed stuff at the end but it's nearly grown out now my natural color you can definitely tell sometimes because you catch the bits of gray <laughs> <laughs> which is yeah one of them things uh is there a physical rim realm on the other side maybe not heaven but another place yes there are steps to our journey tragedy so we go back to spirit after uh, being in the human form um and there are more journeys after that that i have yet to learn about uh, what are your goals for your channels in 24? 24, I'm going to try and get back to more Honest Vocal Coach Reacts. So I'll try and at least do three videos a week. The five I used to do is just impossibility. But trying to do three, I'm going to be doing that. Uh, my vlog, I want to travel more. And uh, lots of spirits around now. I want to travel more uh, and do some even more vlogs and stuff. Uh, with my spirit channel... If you haven't seen, I've got a spirit vlog, spirit vlog, spirit YouTube channel, which doesn't have an awful lot on it at the moment. It did have ASMR, but I've taken it off because I don't want to move forward with that. I do enjoy doing it, but it's time consuming. I've got other things that I want to do. 
um, I'm going to make educational videos about being a psychic um, and also psychic tools, you know, things like pendulums and crystal balls and how to use them and all that kind of stuff. I want it to be an educational YouTube. So that's in process. When is your next supplier's delivery? No, you love a parcel. Um, let me think. I got to order some more clothes tomorrow because I only ordered last week, but we sold loads of it. So I'm going to have to do another one tomorrow. So it'll probably be Wednesday, Thursday for clothes. Um, probably going to be getting a crystal delivery end of next week. Which precious stones, rubies, emeralds, sapphires, diamonds do you believe provide benefits to the wearer other than its monetary value, of course? I would say sapphire. Sapphire is quite a spiritual crystal. Will you get shelves for crystals at all? Shelves for crystals. Oh, do you mean... Um, I can do, actually. Uh, one of my suppliers does design shelves in pentagrams and different shapes and things. So if you're interested in me having those in the shop, I can definitely do that. Favourite season? Spring. Uh, it used to be autumn, but nah, I want I want moving towards warmth. Oh, it's just gone midnight, is it? Look after yourself, no problem. Our spirit's coming through for you right now. Not right now. Um, it's when I kind of lift my consciousness level and then kind of focus on it. Although I do have a bit of a niggly headache. So I think one of you guys have a bit of a niggly headache. Um, can you do runes just for yourself? Yes, you can. Sorry, I'm late. Don't worry about it. Do you not get overwhelmed by all the work you do? Yes. <laughs> yes. But I, I would I think it was in a Bon Jovi song. I'll sleep when I'm dead. <laughs> You're not going to achieve anything in life if you spend every hour chilling. You, you know what I mean. You, you got, you got to achieve. I want a legacy. I want to be remembered when I'm gone. I love the crystal shell shaped like moths and cats. Right. I'll add that onto my to do list. What do you think about UFOs and are they trying to communicate with us? God, this is great. Uh, yes, I believe in UFOs. And are they trying to communicate with us? Absolutely. The universe is way too big for it to just be us. There, there's definitely aliens, as we call them. Um, but absolutely, yes. Why do you think paranormal spiritual activity is rarely caught on camera video? The majority of the time, it's about vibration. So... It's a when we pass, we move to a different vibrational level. And to pick up that vibration, you have to feel it. It's not always about sound or visual, it's feeling the vibration. So it's rarer that we get noises and things like that. So it's very much about feeling. Uh, do you feel the same energy when doing online readings and in person? Yes, I do. How many spirits, psychic and crystal healing changed your life so far? Um, it's actually helped me feel more comforted about what's coming in the future. I, oh my God, we're really deep today. I used to have an incredibly bad anxiety and terror of passing which most people do, do. But now through my work of doing what I do now, I don't feel that scared anymore. The panic attacks that I used to have, this was a thing with me. Uh, why am I telling you guys this? I'm telling like thousands of people. Um, the panic attacks are not a thing as much anymore. And I feel comforted about what I know now that's going to come in the future it's just part of my journey and as uh there's a lovely lady i watch on tiktok who is a um nurse uh that does palliative care uh, and she sees many many people pass uh and she said it's just as natural as being born as when we pass why are we making it this scarable scary 
horrible thing, this ah, taboo subject that we shouldn't talk about. It's it's inevitable and it should be something that we look at with love rather than anything else. Um, but it's a big subject. I think your first YouTube live has been a hit. I think so. <laughs> Will you be doing any more psychic readings on TikTok? Yes. Would you ever do a psychic podcast from the upstairs in your shop? Ooh. That's not a bad idea. Uh, sorry, I've got my headache. I gave you a headache and handache when you did a reading for me. Oh, Gina, I remember. Yeah, I could feel it. It's gone now. But yeah. Have you ever thought about selling wind charms or hanging glass pictures of windows? I do send sell wind charms, but at the moment they're the bamboo wooden ones. Um, I do want to have the metal type wind chimes, and I need to get more dream catchers for the windows, but they keep selling out. So as soon as I can get more for the windows to make it look even more full and them all over the ceiling, I will. When my nana passed, she looked at peace. She will do. If you feel bad new in someone's future, how do you deal with it? I don't know what you mean. If you feel bad new in someone's future, say that again. Has the Sunday Chinese ritual always been a thing? No, not really. No. Um, actually, <laughs> we did it a lot at my mum's dad's house, but it wasn't every Sunday. And then it started to become a thing here uh, that we'd start to do it. Uh, not long after we moved here, actually. Uh, we did it occasionally at the old house, but when we moved here, it kind of got more often. But yeah. What are your opinions on assisted dying? Oh, <sighs> this is a tough one. When it's our time to go, it's our time to go. That's it. I'm not a big fan of assisted dying. I think we have a time. So, but I do understand that in that extreme moment of pain and suffering, you might want to go sooner. I just feel there's, you have a time. That's all. I'm not saying don't do it. It's just my personal feeling on it I wouldn't want to do that personally I think my time is my time that's it have you considered stocking alternative different greetings cards in the shop no I haven't I will think about that this is brilliant thanks for taking the time you're very welcome I'm enjoying myself it's good I've probably been way too frank and honest but there we are I'm honestly so drawn to you as such a comforting person and find peace in your voice when I have a reading, I get specific information from people who have passed, but the psychic can never tell me the names of the people they're giving me the message. Why is that? That's unusual. Um, most psychics should be able to give you more than that. Um, it's called an evidential psychic or an evidential medium. They should be able to give you evidence of who that person is, not just what that person was like, but what that person's name is when they passed what they passed of more evidence through it so maybe you just haven't had a reading with the right person yet so many deep chats tonight i've loved this me too although i'm slightly scared about the uh, backlash later on because you know there is a, a website called tattle which apparently likes to chat about me how did you and Simon meet at the studio, the old studio that I ran? Uh, Daisy Chain says, death creates fear of loss of consciousness. Birth creates opportunity of consciousness. People don't always fear the actual death. I think taboo comes from not wanting to create fear in someone. Okay. Uh, sorry, if you feel something bad is going to happen in someone's future, how do you handle it? I don't mention it. Um, I have ways of explaining what is coming in the future, that there might be disappointment or something like that. But if there's something super negative, like they're going to have um, a particularly bad disease or something, 
I avoid those things because it can change their journey. Uh, I'm there to be a comfort uh, and I will give them as much information as I can. But if it's, you know, you're going to get this horrible thing coming, which I do know, I'm not going to tell you that. If you want to go to a psychic, we'll tell you all the bad stuff, crack on. But there's not many people that will. What does the house with the fields mean? T turning into you using my energy I also need to enjoy the bath more what is your safe space what is my safe space thank you the house with the fields oh that'll be my nan glasby uh i was close to my nan glasby she died when i was only 16 that was part of my journey to become psychic i think or finding out i was uh, and yes, yeah, she used to have horses out the back of a house and fields. So that'll be that. You are great to listen to. Thank you. Really enjoying this live tonight. Amazing questions and chat. What psychic predictions were given that came true? Ooh, I've loads. I knew when people were pregnant. I've known when people were ill. I've known when people, all sorts of things. Um, predictions i have why am i telling you this i have a feeling i'm going in hospital soon for what i don't know not for a vi for a, a day trip either i think there's going to be a visit and a little stay over i don't know why but i passed the hospital the other day on the way to work and i was like oh, is that happening again it was just a knowing as i drove past so that's a prediction I see coming when I don't know what it from what I don't know what it's going to be, but probably linked to the heart, I would think. But at the moment we're doing OK. We're all right. We've got the tablets. I've got my blood pressure thing. All is good. I'm here for a reason. We've got to keep going. I applaud your honesty as an empath. Thank you for your vulnerability. Have you ever tried witchcraft? No. Uh, or forms of divination other than tarot? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I've got crystal ball, pendulum, dowsing rods, uh, oracle cards. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to think. I've done Ouija board. I've done scrying. I've done, yeah, all of that stuff. I'm up for it. When it comes to doing spells, not so much. It's not really my thing. Just get the feeling your mum was very overcritical, I feel, and that you couldn't please her no matter what. Ha, ha, ha. Ruby, you were absolutely right. My mum was very overcritical. Uh, I was always seeking her approval and never got it. Oh, my God, Tattle, talk about negative energy. Yes. They're awful on Tattle. They hit everyone for no reason. Yes, they do. Uh, get the feeling your dad has the most lovely hands. Yes. But get the feeling that it's such a slight man. Yes. But God, he used to give a good hug, didn't he? Yes. Ha, ha, ha. You're very good, Ruby. Absolutely. Can I still come to your shop for a reading? Of course you can. It's H, J and J and Fred from before Christmas. I just want to say thank you so much for the reading. Oh, hello. Hello. H, how are you getting on? Can I, like, send you a big hug? How are you doing? Um, I hope that the box is opening now and again and you're kind of dealing with some of these things. But if you ever need a chat, give me a shout. I'm absolutely here. Oh, so we're nearly finished for this live, I think. I've been quite a while. But I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone for supporting me. And if you love this live, comment in the description and let me know that you want more of these and we'll definitely do more. Your dad just keeps saying, basically, it'll be all right on the night. Don't worry, it'll be all right when we do it. Very positive man. Yes, he was. Uh, my dad was had a spiritual side to him. Um, and I had a feeling that he'd pass that to me. Please do another soon. I absolutely will do. Do you think predictions and remote viewing are the same? No, no, I don't. Please do another live and hope to make it on time. Don't worry about it. It's fine. You can always back, go back and watch again. I've subbed curiosity. Okay. Thank you, Cheeky Sprite. 
Thanks for a lovely evening. Really enjoyed this night night. This has been lovely. It has, hasn't it? It's really nice. It's lit. Oh, there's loads of little. Now, um, yeah, when I go live on TikTok, it can be a battle because you've always got some trolls on there uh, and other places. But today's been super positive. I've probably been way too open. But there we are. <laughs> Thanks for tonight. Your vlogs have helped me through 2023. Thanks for the company. You're welcome. You must be gasping. I've got a bottle of water there. <laughs> so I'm going to be drinking that. Get me pyjamas on. Uh, I've got my cameras ready for tomorrow so I can continue vlogging. I'm in the shop tomorrow. Tuesday, I'm off. I'm going to a psychic evening and my car's... i got to take my car in. Give me tack. Get take my car in. Keep being the lovely lady you are. We are here for you as you are here for us. Can't wait for the next one. Good night, sprites. Yeah, we're called sprites at the moment. Uh, spirit, crystal, psychic... I've got it the wrong way around. It's my own name. Spirit, psychic and crystal healing. We're going for sprites of the spirit a bit like fairies or elves i think that's what we're going with for now anyway uh so yeah good night everyone thank you so much for watching please share it to people uh i'd love it to have more subscriptions to my uh vlog because i know more people actually watch this than actually subscribe so yeah uh, plastic bottle water is not good. Uh, it's actually not bottle water. It's just a bottle that um, I got a while ago, but just refill it. So it's not Buxton, but yo, I'm with you on that, actually. Uh, please do these again. Thanks for taking the time to do this. Sorry if I missed it. Don't worry. It's all good. It's fine. You can catch it. Shooting star. Hello, you've just missed us, Andy. I'm just, just, yeah. His mum had a reading with me yesterday. Uh, let's all like the video. Thank you. Share it and stuff like that. I'd love to get a little bit further with the old subscriptions if I can. Thank you for ordering the Palm Stone and the reading that came through. I will drop you an email. Bye-bye, loves.